Hawaii is the best. Eight strikeouts for Kaolu Holt, and for the first time in a decade, Hawaii brings home the Little League World Series Championship. Good evening, I'm MG Montemayor. Honolulu defeated South Korea today to finish perfect in this year's tournament. In Williamsport, Hawaii, right off the bat, Mana Lao Kong blasted that homer off South Korea's first pitch. one nothing early. Here comes two more runs in the third. Zachary Wan scored on a wild pitch. Taylor Awana reached home plate off an error. Three nada Hawaii. And check out this play from Sean Yamaguchi. Zipped it to Kong for the putout. What a play there from the second baseman. Holt went six innings to earn the 3-0 win, allowed zero runs on two hits. It's just amazing. I've always dreamed of coming here since I was uh, like five years old or something like that. I just wanted to come here, but to win it all is just amazing. So my family right here. I, these are my brothers. It's the third title for Hawaii. Evan Beach took it home in 2005. Waipahu in 2008. The 2018 champs are back in the 808 via United Airlines. A direct flight from Newark tomorrow at 1.35 p.m. Rainbow Wahine volleyball team back on the court today in a rematch with Kansas State. Ladies dropped yesterday's season opener versus the Wildcats. Well, the struggles continued for Hawaii. Team hitting percentage at 174 today. Junior setter Noreen Yosia up there in kills with 10. McKenna Granato led the home team with 11. Wildcats sweep UH for a second straight night. Set scores went 25-21, 27-24, and 25-19. Hawaii drops to 0-2 this season. They'll host Coastal Carolina starting on Thursday. In golf, Tony Finau, oh so close to the big win in today's final round of the PGA's Northern Trust. The guy with family ties in Laie finished outright second for his third runner-up finish of the season. At the Ridgewood Country Club, Finau bagged four birdies, including this beauty on the ninth. Finished the round at 468, minus 14 today, and just four strokes shy of the winner, Bryson DeChambeau. Overall, it's Finau's third top 10 finish in 11 playoff events. I feel close, you know, just to have a taste of it this week in the first playoff event is a great feeling. And, uh, you know, when you when you don't win, you, you stay hungry. So uh, I'm hungry to get after it, Nick, in the rest of the playoffs. With this finish, he jumped up to fourth place in the FedEx Cup points, also guaranteed a spot in the Tour Championship at East Lake. Wow, well, lots of good stuff for Hawaii. I know, yeah. and those boys. Looking so forward to them coming home yes. to a hero's Can't welcome. Wait. Well, with four days of rain on the Big Island, a Gila woman had to get creative to relieve cabin fever in her house. <laughs> Erica Soares, a mom with four kids, ages four and younger, just put raincoats on the three oldest, blew up the old beach raft, and let them float on the driveway outside her home. <laughs> with her firefighter husband on duty during the storm, she says she came up with the idea after exhausting every other one she had, including baking cookies, dance contests, reading every book ever, and contemplating the meaning of life. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks like they enjoyed the storm, unlike oh so many gosh. others. Oh my gosh, hilarious. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching Island News at 10. Tune in tomorrow at 4.30 a.m. for Good Morning Hawaii. And before we go, I just want to wish a happy birthday to Di as well. Happy Thanks. birthday. Thanks, girl. Oh, my goodness. Have a good night. <laughs> good night. Why'd you keep it so